passenger electric vehicles are the fastest growing category of the electric vehicle market and are predicted to have significant growth over the coming years. One of the most important reasons driving the industry is the availability of a diverse range of models, enhanced technology, increased customer awareness, and the availability of tax breaks and subsidies refunds. Major electric vehicle manufacturers such as Tesla, BYD, BMW, Volkswagen, Nissan, Toyota, Honda, Volvo, and General Motors have established themselves as dominant participants in the market. In today's video, we'll talk about how the electric vehicle sector has done in various countries, as well as what the future of EVs for these countries will look like in 2030. Stay tuned for that! Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. As a result of the initial outbreak of COVID-19, the manufacturing and sale of new electric vehicles had come to a grinding standstill throughout the world. The entire ecosystem had been disturbed automakers were forced to halt manufacturing until the lockdowns were removed, which had a negative impact on their operations. As a result, automobile manufacturers had to alter the volume of their production. In addition, component manufacturing was halted and small Tier 2 and Tier 3 businesses were forced to deal with cash flow problems. These firms, on the other hand, have a significant market for their electric vehicles all over the world. The electric vehicle market is dominated by passenger automobiles, which account for a majority of sales. Because of the rising desire for electric vehicles, there has been an increase in the demand for passenger cars. Countries such as China have a short waiting period for electric vehicles as compared to the waiting period for internal combustion engine vehicles. In response to the tightening of emission standards, European countries are aiming to reduce their car emissions by 2030. A similar arrangement is followed by the United States and China. The rapid expansion of EV charges has also resulted in the expansion of the EV passenger vehicle market. 3.2 million vehicles were sold in 2020, with 69.4% being battery electric vehicles and 30.3% being plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. For the first time in history, Europe has surpassed China in terms of market share with 43.3% surpassing the figure of 41% held by China. The global share of electric vehicles climbed from 3.4% to 4.5% in 2020. Europe also experienced the largest year-on-year -year growth of 137.1% over the last six years, assisting it in moving up to the number one position in 2020 ahead of China. With 499,512 units sold, Tesla was the global leader followed by the Volkswagen Group with 423,871 units. Tesla holds 15.2% and the Volkswagen Group 13.3% for control of more than 28.5% of the market. There has been an overall increase in worldwide capacity delivery over the last 10 years, with 2020 supplying 139,000 megawatt hours, which is 38% more than its previous year. EV charging stations topped 1.1 million points in 2020, up from 750,000, with China accounting for 61% of all installations. Multiple powertrains can be implemented on a skateboard architecture, which incorporates the constantly evolving sensor suite, alternate powertrain, electronic architecture and power requirements, and has become the reason for EV success. EV Futures to 2030 Researchers have conducted an analysis of the most recent indications in order to generate an up-to-date estimate of the EV industry for the next 10 years, keeping one eye firmly on the progress made thus far. We already know that BEVs outperform plug-in hybrids on a global scale, and the research predicts that by 2030, battery-powered vehicles will account for 81%, which is roughly 25.3 million units of all new electric vehicles sold. Plug-in hybrid sales, on the other hand, are predicted to reach 5.8 million units by 2030. Recovery from COVID-19 will result in increased sales of internal combustion engine cars until 2025, 
after which they're expected to experience a drop in market penetration. Global EV sales are expected to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 29% over the next 10 years, from 2.6 million in September 2021 to 11.2 million in 2025, and then to 31.1 million by 2030, according to the research. Electric vehicles would account for around 32% of total new automobile sales in the United States. It's anticipated that until 2024, annual car sales will not return to pre-COVID-19 levels. While internal combustion engine sales are expected to slow during the recovery phase, electric vehicles are expected to continue to grow at a rapid pace, and they may well wind up gaining a significant part of the market in the short future. The proportion of new automobile sales taken up by electric vehicles will differ significantly among markets. By 2030, studies expect China to have a domestic market share of approximately 48%, which is nearly double that of the United States' 27%, and Europe to have a market share of 42%. However, this does not give the entire story. Northern and Western Europe growth is predicted to outpace that of Southern and Eastern Europe, as wealthier countries such as the UK, Germany, France, the Netherlands, and the Nordic countries invest more in infrastructure and offer bigger financial and tax incentives to accelerate initial growth. The Conclusion Despite the negative impact that the COVID-19 outbreak has had on the industry, the long-term picture for electric vehicles is positive. In order to achieve the considerable increase in predicted volume of battery electric vehicle and plug-in hybrids by 2030, four elements must be taken into consideration – consumer sentiment, policy and legislation, manufacturer strategy, and the role of corporate entities. All four of these parameters saw significant shifts in direction over the previous year prior to the appearance of COVID-19 and have been further influenced as a result of the pandemic since then. EV sales are expected to slow down after 2030 according to the projections. Over the next decade, some markets will be unable to support the shift to electric vehicles in the same way that wealthier nations will be able to. Consider the fact that after 2030, the construction of appropriate charging infrastructure will be one of the most important aspects in sustaining growth. For this to be achieved, multi-billion dollar capital investments are required. While this may be possible in some areas through a combination of public and private investment, it's unlikely to be possible in all markets uniformly. Furthermore, the market for internal combustion engine vehicles will continue to exist for some time in countries that are unable to invest in charging infrastructure. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on this. When do you believe the market will be totally transitioned away from traditional combustion engines toward electric vehicles? Or else, combustion engines will continue to be used regardless of what happens. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. There are a large number of new entrants joining the electric vehicle market, and competition is becoming increasingly fierce. However, Mr. Whistleblower believes that, in the end, the same established manufacturers will likely hold a majority of the market share because these traditional automakers are also making the move towards electric vehicles. There is no doubt that these established giants have a wealth of knowledge and experience at their disposal, as well as significant financial resources to devote to research and development. New entrants, on the other hand, do not become any less significant as a result of this. These will be the driving forces behind technological advances and increased efficiency. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.